Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share a Pinterest inspired um, collaboration project with my friend Misha at Scraps and Things One. Hi Misha! I'm going to post a link below this video of her channel. You can head on over, check her out, show her some YouTube love. And for those of you that um, are not sure what this series is, it's basically a collaboration I do with my friend um, of projects that have inspired us from Pinterest. We both love Pinterest. We pin tons of projects all the time, but we never really get to do them. We say we're going to, and we, and we don't. We move on to other things. So we've decided to challenge each other every two weeks, so about two projects a month. Um, we pick one that we're inspired by and, and do a project from our Pinterest. So I've been very behind. Matter of fact, this um, project was due on November 24th, so you guys can see how far behind I was. And we were to do a gumball um, candy jar from a terracotta pot. And these are some, if you can make that out, this is a Valentine one I thought was really cute. These are just some that I've been inspired by when I was looking at them, and I thought, oh, I always wanted to try that, but I have yet to give it a shot. So um, this is our project that was due on November 24th and we were to do a Christmas theme and I decided to make mine. These are some of my um, Santa Claus um, Santa suit Christmas balls and I decided to kind of make mine similar to my Christmas balls and I made my gumball machine into, uh, let me move my camera up so y'all can see it, into a Santa suit. So this is still drying. This is the top of the um, jar and it's basically the terracotta bottom of the pot turned upside down to make a lid and what I used here was a cork that I cut in half and then I used this snow tex um, let me see if I have the jar available yes this snow tex and I put it all around the cork and as you can see it's still wet because I I just glued it on so I'm not gonna pull on that but that's the top of my jar and then the jar I actually got from the Dollar Tree and to put it, to glue it into the pot, don't know if you can see any of that glue. This is actually still curing. Um, you have to cure it for like 24 hours. I use some E6000 glue to adhere the glass to the pot itself. But this is how the um, bottom of my jar turned out. And I did it, like I said, in a Santa suit um, kind of theme. I use snow text here and I you can see it's all bunched up pretty high and then for the uh, Santa suit buttons and the belt buckle here I just use some glitter gold glitter card stock and my paint pen to create the holes of the suit and then I just use this black ribbon with white like faux stitch look to it to go around the pot so I have a gift next year already for someone for Christmas and I think I'm gonna um, my hubby said my mother-in-law would probably like this so I'm gonna fill it with some really good chocolates or whatever and hopefully it won't break when I send it to her next year but that is how my gumball machine turned out and I will be back to share a few more projects with you because like I said I'm trying to get caught up and if you guys have any questions let me know thank you so much for watching take care and happy crafting